Okay, now we need to talk about advanced editing. Okay, you can have a lousy photograph and you put a lot of editing features on it, it still remains a lousy photograph. Okay, if it's out of focus, the lighting's bad, you know, the composition looks, you got like a tree growing out of some guy's head. Putting all the filters and all the effects on it is not gonna fix it. I mean, you can, sometimes you can edit those things out, but it's better, that's why we've saved this till the end. Okay, you've gotta have great photographs. Great photographs with great editing and great effects means fantastic, even that much better. And then now you've got something for a gallery, so you've got something to put on exhibition and something to potentially put in, a, in an art auction. So let's get into it and really uh, see what the effects are that we can put onto some photos. Okay, so um, I'm gonna open up my photography folder here and I'm gonna open up this app called Picasso. Get it, it's kind of a play on the word Picasso, Picasso, you could be Picasso. I don't know where they're going with that, but anyhow, that's, I think, what they were doing. Okay, so it has all my photos here, and I went yesterday, uh, you can see here, I went out to one of the really great hotels, palace-ish thing here, and, and I went and took a photograph of it just at uh, probably about 11 o'clock in the morning where you get that good sun on it. The sun was behind me, so I knew that the hotel would be lit up really nice, and I'm going to go with that photograph I took yesterday. So let me go grab one of these here. Okay, so, so here's the photo I have from yesterday. So again, start with good photos, and I'm going to now add some effects to it here. Okay, so uh, under magic, you've got a whole bunch of very artistic things that you could do here, and you've got to do for your exhibition, for your art auction. Uh, let me just check the wall over here. But yeah, we want to do at least at least two or three from this area. So let me just go with abstract. And um, you can just start tapping on these and seeing how they look here. So it's just processing. Now this is a lot of processing that's going on. I mean, your little iPad is really, really running the numbers here. And you can see the effect that we have here. Uh, not my favorite, okay? So, you know, you're just gonna kind of go through these. And um, this one here is what I'm hoping is going to be a really good effect because I really do love abstract art. And this one I love. Okay, and I don't, you might not be into abstract like I am, but you can tell even from the art behind me, I really do like abstract art. So this to me is fantastic. And for you, you're gonna use that artistic thinking and you're gonna come up with the ones that you really like. So this one's good. So I'm gonna save this. So I'm gonna tap on the little save up here in the check mark, and then I'm gonna go to save. And then you can see as it saves it, it lets you look, you know, it shows you what that would look like in a nice living room here or a nice uh, studio situation hanging on the wall. And look at it. That is a beautiful piece of art. To me, it's a beautiful piece of art, okay? So uh, that is just fantastic. So let's go on and, and do it again, but maybe with a different filter. So uh, let me go back to uh, new here. Okay, keeping with the same photo, let's go look at some other effects here. Okay, now you can see that we've got, you know, magic, we've got a lot of great effects in here. And, you know, you can really spend some time in here and really go find um, something that really speaks to you. Okay, but um, I'm gonna go out of this and go into into the um, the other one. Okay, so let me just X out of this one here. Okay, into artistic. This is what I really want to talk to you about, is making your photograph look like a painted uh, photo, I mean a painted image, so a painting. So let's start with first with watercolor. I'm gonna move into oil paint in just a little bit here. But as I go through watercolor, I can look at that and say, okay, it, it looks to me like someone added a filter to a photograph. That, that to me, now, I don't know what your image is and you're looking on your end, but maybe that first one might look perfect to you. But to me, uh, this is not fooling me. This is really telling me that that's a filter there. Okay, now this one though, this one for some reason really makes me think that this is, is a watercolor that someone did. Now, if you need to fine tune it, you can tap on tools and you could change some of the effects down here, okay? But I think default, uh, that to me looks really good. Uh, let me just try the other ones here, watercolor three, no. Ooh, not bad. Watercolor four looks good and five, no. But this two, this one looks like a watercolor. So I'm gonna keep this one and I'm gonna save that. Let's see what it looks like on the wall. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like a beautiful painting on the wall. And so that is ready to go. I'm just gonna tap the back button here and let's go in. And um, let's see about uh, doing a different one here. Let's go back again. 
Okay, so now back to the same image. And now let's go try to make it look like an oil painting here. Uh, again, we want it to look not just like someone put a filter on it, but actually someone uh, did, you know, it looks like an oil painting. Okay, number one, that looks pretty good. That look, I can just see some paint strokes there. You might not be able to see them on your end, but I can see some. Uh, again, looking really good. Now, you know, this, I can see the strokes and uh, you can see that the strokes actually follow things. So that's okay, except that I'm, tr I'm gonna make this big and these look like really, they would look like massive strokes. So let me go into tools and see if I can make that, the strokes any different here. But no, I don't, I don't have a choice for um, how big the strokes are. So that's not good. Let me go to another one here. No, um, not bad, not bad. If, if I had to pick, boy, I think it'd be, no, number two, boy, it's a hard one. You know, possibly, possibly this one, number six, I'm going to go with this one as my oil. Okay. But this is what your assignment really is for, um, the artistic side of taking your photographs. So I want you, when you make your gallery, uh, check the list below this this video right here, but I want to see um, Photographs that have been changed into art in those categories that you see listed below using the Picasso one Okay, so when you do your completed gallery, of course, you'll have things that were edited in in uh, Pixelmator and photo toaster, but also we want some artwork that looks like paintings in that as well as well as abstract and some other things maybe some ones that look like sketches so uh, follow the list below this video and i can't wait to see the things you guys do to make your ipad into this beautiful beautiful camera that uh, can make pieces of art that people want to hang in their homes